Today's video is brought to you by The Ridge Wallet and Candid. I need a more regal voice. I need to... I need to deepen Deepen. Are you mocking me? Mufasa. No, would Mufasa say his own name. <laughs> <laughs> because he's like ordering a sub and they're like, can I get a name? Mufasa. <laughs> Is that M-O-O? -O? Do I look like a cow to you? <laughs> Lions eat the cows. Cows, <laughs> cows eat the grass. And we are all connected. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna say the lion. You're the only one yeah. here. <laughs> hey brother! And welcome everyone to another edition of J vs. Ben, where today we are taking on the ultimate Disney princess quiz. Here we go! Guys, before we dive on into the quiz, I need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, The Ridge Wallet. Guys, this wallet is light, sleek, industrial. It doesn't fold or bulge in your back pocket, and quite honestly, it has completely changed my pocket game altogether. Like, what? A front pocket wallet? This has actually been a huge game changer for me. And I don't know about you guys, but almost every single time I get in my car, it goes a little something like this. The struggle is real, you guys. These are seriously so great though. They can hold up to 12 cards at a time while still maintaining that sleek profile. And they come in a huge variety of colors, but the one I'm sporting here today is the Burnt Titanium. And they're so convinced that you'll love it that they give you a 45 day guarantee. If you find out, hey, this isn't for me, send it back and they'll give you a full refund. And if not, it's got a lifetime warranty. If you guys wanna check it out for yourself, it makes a great Father's Day gift, you can do so by going to ridge.com slash SCB and get 10% off your order with promo code SCB. Again, that is ridge.com slash SCB, 10% off with promo code SCB. Link is in the description down below. If you are new to Jay versus Ben, this is how it is going to work. Our little brother, Tyler, Hello! There he is. Oh boy! Is back and he is going to be reading each of the 28 questions, which do have multiple choice answers that we will not be given unless Jay and I both agree that we need them. Yes, that is correct. Thank you for that assessment of my rule explanation. Normally you let me tell about the multiple choice parts, I feel like, you know. Yeah, well, you know, you're gonna get a lot of these questions right, so I needed to get as many positive words out in the video. I'm as a well. little more nervous that we're doing Disney stuff. It's gonna be that, tough, 28 yeah. questions. I feel like my brain is less fresh on it. I feel like I've seen Sleeping Beauty once, so I'm pretty good about Disney princesses, but the older ones, like the real old ones, I'm like, oh gosh, I don't. I don't know that we had all of those cassettes in our VHS collection growing up. We, we had did, Pocahontas. We had we had Snow White. We had Cinderella. We did not have Sleeping Beauty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, Jay's memory serves again. Here we go. Question one: What gift does Flora bestow on Princess Aurora? Great. <laughs> what gift? What gift does Flora? This has got to be Flora. one of the fairies. Sure. 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 You've seen Sleeping Beauty once. I've seen it nuts. I, I have no nuts? idea. Nuts. <laughs> nuts. I'm pretty sure Aurora is Sleeping Beauty. I, that I know. <laughs> yes. Okay. Aurora is Sleeping Fact Beauty. Fact confirmed. <laughs> yes. Allie is going to be at home screaming yeah, at the screen. Yeah, we are at me. off to a real unfortunate start. We are. Um, I knew this is going to be a problem. Do you want to do the unprecedented? Just go for first, one? <laughs> the first one. Let's do it. I, this is probably not even a hard question. This it is, is. I know. This is like trivia at its most. I know. Basic, where where when you know the answer, it's like, wow, it's so easy. And when you don't... I know. All right, give us some answers. A, beauty. B, song. C, courage. Or D, grace. Okay. That's what I'm going with. All right, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. I said beauty. I said beauty as well. She is beauty and beauty, and she is Miss United Beauty. It's beauty. Oh, yeah! I said, yes. I was like, <laughs> this is the first question, and the answer to sleeping beauty isn't beauty. We're off to a real rough start. I didn't even realize it was gonna be like a, a conceptual gift as much as a uh, physical gift, so I was gonna be way off. All right, qu query for you guys. What would be worse, being given beauty or being given grace? What would be worse? What would be worse? Like the idea behind like 
your grace not being genuine. Oh. It, it, it is a gift. Mm. But I feel like there's, I would almost value grace higher. Therefore, it would feel worse to know that it was manufactured. <clears throat> I see. Certainly would cause some internal struggles about, am I naturally gracious or would I, like, would I have handled this situation? Right. Or, or am I just, was or I just given I a gift? Being given by a Flora. gift by fairy magic. Question two. What is the name of Jasmine's tiger? Now we're back on track. Or maybe we're not. Maybe we're not. Come on, Ben. There it is. Hopefully it's spelled correctly. Three, two, one. Raja. Raja. It is R Raja. R you both spelled it incorrectly the same. It's, at, it's got an H on the end. Oh. oh. I'm just dusting off my old Disney books and my brain's going. Right, yeah. Not as near the center. Right, exactly. But not, not there. But not not there. Yeah. No, of course not. Yeah. After all, I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt. Yes. Clear indication that I know what I'm talking about. Mm. You know what's so weird about Disney? What is that? Mickey wasn't a part of our childhood. He's Yeah, he's a big part of the parks. Jay got all the Disney, the Mickey toys when we went to the parks. But like and a rhinoceros. media involving Mickey didn't enter my life until adulthood. And yet you knew who Mickey was. Immediately. Immediately. Yeah. I think of him as like an interactive logo, you know, like <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a really cool logo. Yeah. Three we circles. did have Goofy. Goofy was huge because we watched the oh, Goofy, the Goofy movie. movie. We were big on Goofy. Yeah. Anyway. Where was his wife? Dead, I reckon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got grim. Uh, question three. How many bites of the red apple does Snow White take? Ready? Three, two, one. 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 That's right. A single bite. What year was The Little Mermaid released theatrically? Oh, this is a this is not a lore question, and I don't <laughs> like non-lore questions. No, 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 no. no. This Ugh. is this is very frustrating because Disney was like smacking homers for like a good. 10 year span. Is it this or is it this? I think it's this. Or is it? Mm. Okay. Three, find out. two, one. It's 1990. 1989. Ooh. <coughs> fun. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> fun. The answer is 1989. Oh, yes. look, I wrote it right here. I was like, is it that? Is it that? More oh. opportunities for Ben to trip at the finish line. <laughs> Warping I need fish. Those. I need those. <laughs> Question five. What song does Cinderella sing while she gets ready in the morning? I know one song from Cinderella, and it's not this one. Do you want the multiple choice? Sure. Okay. I do know that this is like a 77 minute long movie, and this opening song is like 10 minutes of it. Percentage wise Get of the total on. film, too much. <laughs> Get on with it. Is it A, a dream is a wish your heart makes? B, once upon a dream? C, Someday my prince will come, or D, when will my life begin? So these are all going to be princess songs, I reckon. I've heard of uh, two of these, and I know one of them is Entangled. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do that as well. <laughs> Me three. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said C. I said A. The answer first. is a dream. Your your a, a dream is a wish your heart makes. But Ben I, takes the lead again. Whoop, whoop. Oh, now you're up by two. I knew these early princess questions were gonna get me. There's <sighs> also a lot of like non lore questions here, like question six. Oh great! Which two Disney characters did Eleanor Oddly voice? Eleanor Oddly? Mm-hmm. Well, oddly enough, ah, I don't know who that is. <laughs> <laughs> this is this. this Oh man, uh, you could almost backtrack to this being pre-Aladdin. Probably. I can tell you it's before Aladdin because all of the multiple choice answers are before Aladdin. Do you recognize all of the characters? No. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, I mean, multiple choice because I can't even take a stab in the dark. A, you agree. Ursula and Fauna. B, Cruella de Vil and Meriwether. C, Fairy Godmother and Flora, or D, Lady Tremaine and Maleficent. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh, D. C. Oh my gosh, it was definitely D or C. It was D or C. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. The answer is D. Yes! Oh, no! Oh, look at that 
back in, clogging it back in. All right. I don't know who Lady Tremaine is. I couldn't even begin to. Is that Lady from Lady and the Tramp? No, that's um, Cinderella's stepmother. Mm. Uh, Island's but... stepsisters have names when I watched the movie the other day. They do. I'm not going to ask you that now because I have a feeling it's going to come up later. I don't know, though. I haven't read the quiz. I would be so excited when we get to Disney topics we know about. I know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Fine. Question seven. You said we had this movie, this VHS. Uh, it's about our home state. What is the name of Pocahontas' best friend from her tribe? From her tribe? <laughs> from her tribe. <laughs> Not John Smith. Not friend. John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can deep dive my memory banks here. I doubt it. Uh, when I read the answer, it was a word I'd never seen before. Oh, so. good, good, good. I feel like we're not making a good showing. I don't disagree. Someone's gonna take our Disney card. <laughs> Do you want multiple choice again? I this guess. Is hard. This, this is tough. Is it A, Nakoma, B, Ninoma, C, Nina, or D, Nora? All right, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. A. A. How? How do you know this? Well, I figured you'd heard the names Nina and Nora before, which really narrowed it down pretty quick. And Nakoma just rang more of a bell. I don't know that I recognized it. I, I, I don't know that I recognized it, but like, I was going with A the second he said A. Okay. So I was like, okay, all right, all right. It seems like it's the right one. Yeah. I'm sure she's the one who like Rattles. tattles on her. Oh, well, that's uncool. I once had a teacher tell me not to tattle on a classmate. In like first grade, I was like, Miss Tavener, uh, Andre pushed me and she was like, Tyler, don't tattle. And I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back in my chair. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. <laughs> oh my gosh. In Miss Tavener's kindergarten class, because I had her for that, we were playing bingo the day before we left for Christmas. And this one kid stood up from his desk and he was being really mean because he won bingo a whole bunch of times. And when he went to sit down, I kicked his chair. <laughs> It was the meanest thing I ever did. He went straight down. Wow. Well, at least you can take sauce in knowing that she wouldn't take the telling seriously. Question eight. Finish the lyric. Flower, gleam, and glow. Oh, this is like so annoying. It's like, oh, you've got it. Talk about movies we've seen recently. <laughs> okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Make the clock rewind. I said let your let, let your oh. power shine now. Oh. This is fun. The <laughs> correct is one answer. of us right. One of you is correct. Oh uh, man! Uh, and who do you think is correct? Not me. Do you think not you? I also think not me. <laughs> okay. The one of you who is correct is Benjam. Oh. Yay! Your two point lead continues. Question nine. <sighs> what is the name of Mulan's dog? What? The beginning of Milan, she has to feed the chickens and the dog, right? Yeah, she has a dog. The dog has a name. Man, this is a hard quiz. I, oh man, I know this. I would go multiple choice. Okay. Is it A, little brother, B, brother, C, mini brother, or D, big brother? All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Little brother. Little brother. Little brother. <laughs> little brother. What a weird name for a dog. I saw one of those tweets that was like, the last thing you ate is the name of your next dog. And it always works. I know. <laughs> Mine was pretzels. <laughs> Burgers. <laughs> Power bar. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Question 10. Which Disney princess movie takes place in the United States? I guess there's two there of these. There are two? Uh, one of them is... I guess... Okay. okay. This I, is yeah. the one that is in the actual United States. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yep. Pocahontas. Pocahontas. <laughs> Takes place in North America. North America. <laughs> in Virginia, not yet Virginia. Oh man, I know, I know the answer and I'm completely blanking. This is one of those movies that I have regrettably just actually just never watched. Really? Yep. You should really watch this one. I know, I know, everybody says it's so great. But you don't need to watch it to know the name of it. To know the name of the movie? Yeah, that's the question. The question is what is the name of the movie that takes place in America? Oh, I thought it was, what is the name of the, all right. Is this right? Now I'm like, <laughs> I feel very embarrassed all of a sudden. Right, three, two, one. It's Beauty and... No. Um, the Princess and the Frog. The, the princess, princess and the Frog. Oh, what right. is the princess's name? Tiana. 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 I would have... Oh. Also, that one's super duper good, and you should watch it. I know that everybody says it. I just... 
haven't. Yeah. What year did that movie come out? Like it's like further along for a hand-drawn animation. It's like 2009 or 2008, yeah. That movie would have come out literally as I was like either a like senior in high school or freshman in college, mm -hmm. which was just not the most ideal time. To get Ben to go to see a Disney Princess, Princess, Princess movie. movies. Yes, mm -hmm. that's the one. I didn't, I didn't see Frozen for two years after it came out. Right, look at us now. Look at us now. I love Olaf. Question 11. What is the name of the female mouse who wears a yellow dress in Cinderella? <laughs> <laughs> this is impossible. <laughs> oh. I think I'm learning that under the, the umbrella of our fandom obsession, we have specialties. Perhaps. What is the multiple choice, Tyler? Oh, let's hear it. Is it Nancy, Susie, Ruth, or Barbara? Despite needing the multiple choice often, you are doing well. Well, Thanks. Ben is doing well. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, I feel like it's about to change. Three, two, one. That's Susie. I said Ruth. Ooh. The answer, one of you got it right, is... B, Susie. Yes! Oh, that was All my right. next choice. Man, as soon as I turned around, I was like, it's Ruth. I see, I, I would have thought the same thing that like Susie is the least time period appropriate name. But it's like, list. I was trying to think of like what voice, like what name sounds like a mouse name, like Susie. That's all I was like, Ruth. That sound like, but it doesn't sound like mice would be good at like the. <sighs> Question 12. You're gonna need multiple choice, I guarantee it. Unless, you know, if you know, I'll give you two points. Straight Whoa. up. <laughs> Great. What awesome. instrument created the sound of the dragon's teeth snapping in Sleeping Beauty? What instrument? Yeah, what instrument? Production questions. Not like we're doing much better on the lore questions, but this seems unfair. Unreasonable at best. I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> you're not gonna get it. Not gonna get it. <laughs> I mean, this is sort of a broad stroke version of the answer. I can tell you it's not A. Uh, is it A? Drums, B, steel pan, C, xylophone, or D, ebony castanets? Follow up question. What is a castanet? Uh, <laughs> castanets are like when you see flamenco dancers and it's like that clam sound, that's a castanet. Okay. Cool. Didn't you do percussion for like 10 years? I rocked a vibro slap. <laughs> we just had like two wooden blocks. It was just like. <laughs> That's what it's supposed the to be. The timing was so critical. Like, if you missed it, everyone noticed. Three, two, one. D. D. It is Ebony Castanets. Yes, exactly you're right. right. I would never have guessed. <laughs> yeah, I would have. Uh, you know, you win the quiz if you know what Ebony Castanets are. I guess so. Question 13. Finish the quote. Even miracles take a little blank. This is Cinderella, the fairy godmother says it. I only know because Jordan told me I could tell you that. I had no idea. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Magic. Oh, I said love. If it's luck, I'm gonna be mad. Miracles take a little time. Oh. Well, I think we were in the right zone. Yeah. Sure. I got to practice. At least we did multiple choices. <laughs> at least, look at us go. Look at us go. So we're just high five. Three, yeah. two, one. Holy cow, this quiz is so Hard, very unexpected, but you know what's not hard? Getting your teeth straight with Candid. Because we also need to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Candid. Candid makes clear aligners that get your teeth straight fast. It's no secret that lots of us are spending a lot of time at home right now, and one way to be productive with that time is to start working on a better smile. The Candid process actually provides remote monitoring from a licensed orthodontist throughout the entirety of your treatment. This means you're getting the same kind of oversight that you might expect from an orthodontist without ever actually having to see a person in real life all at a fraction of the cost. Candid's aligners are comfortable, removable, completely invisible, come in at a fraction of the cost of traditional braces, and most people see their results in just six months. So are you ready to take the first step towards a better smile? And for a limited time, get $75 off your order when you go to candidco.com slash SCB. Again, that is $75 off your order when you go to candidco.com slash SCB. Link is in the description down below. Question 14. In Bell's opinion, the best books are about what? Okay. I think maybe we have the same answer. 
Uh, this seems like a really long answer. Let's see. It does. Three, okay. two, one. The daring, daring sword, sword fights far away places in a prince, prince in disguise. disguise. I will give it to you. The answer on Oh My Disney is far off places. Oh. You were right. That's the, the line from the film. The rest of the answers were exotic animals, princesses, and journeys. No, I think, I, think we got, I think that we just finished the rest, the rest of, of the, of the lyric. Yeah. yeah. Question 15. Which song from Cinderella was Academy Award nominated? Obviously it didn't win, I guess. <laughs> Which song from Cinderella won an Academy Award? <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, I said when you wish upon a star. We return to a tie. Jay yeah. got that correct. Fun Come on, Benji. Ben, you, you're on TikTok. Oh, that's the one where they do the... Yeah. Whoops. Oof. Right? Like the, the makeover thing? Yeah, I actually love those. They're yeah. super cool. Very impressive. They are good. It's always like, man, the, the work that people do with makeup is like artwork. It's like impressive. It is. Finish the quote. Our fate lives within us. You only have to blank. I would try to do like the Merida voice, but like, she turned my mom into a bear. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> Man, I would give multiple choice. All right, let's do okay. it. Okay. Is it A, let your heart be your guide. Oh. B, be brave enough to see it. C, hold your own or be a bride. D, go the distance. Is it? Can you imagine you, if, if Hercules yeah, was like the yeah. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. I can, I can go the distance. I'm trying to do I know every mile. Man, that is like the one song. I wanna I wanna learn how to sing just so I can sing that song. Just that song? Just that song. That's all I would do. You just like hit up karaoke bars like, and you're like, like, who's God. up for Disney, specifically this one song? <laughs> I know all the words. All Man, right. we all are getting right. destroyed. We are getting destroyed. All right, ready? Three, two, one, B. Yeah, it's got the title of the movie I in know. it. That's what was throwing me off. Yeah, this is like that question on the quiz in high school. You're like, you were trying to trip me up. Surely. Did, surely you didn't make the word, the title in the answer. It's A. Question 17. You're not going to know this, but. What country is Prince Naveen from? Boy, I don't know either, so... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what. Let's go multiple choice. We're gonna see if we can work it out. Is it A, Malta, B, Moldova, C, Morocco, or D, Maldonia? Okay, okay. Let's see here. Man, I... Just... All right, three, two, one, D, C. The answer is D, Maldonia. No! Did you say D? I did. Oh. I had initially circled C, and I was looking at him, and I was like, three of them start with mall, which probably means that it starts with mall. I just had to SAT strategy that answer. That was never my strong suit. I think I could be wrong about this. Malta and Morocco, and I think Moldova are real places. Is Maldonia a real place? I don't know. I don't it seemed know. like a weird choice to have it not be. Especially when the United no, States is very real. Yeah, He's from Old Orleans. Old Orleans. <laughs> just, just Orleans. <laughs> yeah. Question 18. What is the name of Merida's horse? Oh, you remembered it. Maybe. We'll see. Boo is the witch! No denying it. Oh, I just, I just I feel like it just flitted. It flitted. It just I, flitted. I hate that feeling. Oh, it's just right there. My brain used to do this thing when I was taking quizzes in high school where it would like build a fortress around the, the ability to think anything other than how much I don't know the answer. Oh no. And it was just like, I don't know it. I know it's in there somewhere, but like I, there's, I have nothing to remember it by. I was always that kid who if I could come up with a way to remember it, I would always know it. Oh my God, this is so annoying. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna have to. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, two, one. What'd you put? Angus. Angus! Oh, I put Fargus. I was like, ah, it's Angus. 100% all Angus horse. <laughs> oh, oh, I was, I was like, I was, uh, I was in the right zone. My you brain know, was reaching for the right sound. Question 19. Finish the lyric. I'm like a shooting star. How, how long do we need to go? Just the rest of that line, or I guess the next line. Three, two, one. I will go far. I've come so far. The correct answer is, I've come so far. No, what is this for? I don't even know what it's from. This is uh, from A Whole New World in I'm Aladdin. Like a shooting and star. I think we had tied again, but I immediately. Where yeah, Ben is in the lead by one point. I'll tell you, even though y'all don't know a lot of these, it is a much more interesting, like, match. Okay. <laughs> at least <laughs> there's that. Yeah. Hopefully everybody at home agrees. Yeah. Be sure to leave a comment and let us know. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Question 20. What is Pocahontas' father's name? Papa? 
No. Go ahead and take a point off for that. <laughs> <laughs> was, oh my God. That was such a bad answer. I'm deleting a point. I'll go multiple points. Okay, twice. yeah. Okay. Is it A, Chief? That's about <laughs> what I would have written down. <laughs> I like, so Chief. chief. Z- something. Uh, B, Powhatan. C, Master Chief. <sighs> Sierra one one seven John checking in. That was good. I think that was pretty good, right? Nice, was really. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. Like Halo all of a sudden. I always want to play Halo just so we're all on the same page. Just okay. to be clear, get ready for that next land party. D Crow. How did that not help? I know. Oh man. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I want A. Chief. You're both wrong. Oh. Come on, guys. Powhatan. Is it? Yeah. Powhatan is, is the a- name of the tribe. Yeah. Do you want to know? I almost wrote Chief Powhatan, so I was really <laughs> confused when you gave me these two things. You quite literally, as a child, went to Camp Powhatan uh, as uh, like a Boy Scout. Fact. Did you know that when you went to Powhatan for the first time, we still shared a room as children, and there was like a horrendous thunderstorm, and I was so scared for you. I think it was like the first time my like like empathy happened in my life. Oh, look and at you. I felt the full force of it. And I was, whew, man, you were probably out there having a hoot and hollering good time. And I was like in our bedroom safe crying. Question 21. Which three items does Grandmother Fa give Mulan? Jordan noted there is a fourth item. So if you get three of those four, I will give it to you. I can't remember what the third one is. And yet there are four. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you got it? Maybe. Okay. Three, two, one. I said the cricket, the hair clip, and a fan. Well, I, I call yeah. it a cone. I, yeah, I, was, I don't know what, what the appropriate... I think that we're talking is. about the same thing. Yeah. I think you're talking about the same thing. I could be wrong. I feel like she steals that. Or she leaves no, it. No, she leaves oh, she it. Leaves she trades it, it right. for the yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. The answer, the correct answer is cricket, apple, and pendant. And then Jordan added beads of jade. So we was wrong. So we were... was wrong. I thought, so I was thinking of like the final battle. Doesn't she like whip out the fan and like she that's does. how she disarms him. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it'd be so perfect because it's sort of like this idea of something they gave for one reason, but then she used it in a very different way. But it also demonstrates the power of that thing against the other thing. Man, what a cool piece of symbology. Question 22. How does Pocahontas say welcome? Why are there so many Pocahontas questions? Come on, Virginians. <laughs> Camp Palatan. Pay attention. Yes. Uh, I, I like I know this. Choice. Yeah, do it. Okay. Is it Wangdo, Winago, Wingapo, or Windgapo? Windgapo? It is the same word but spelled different, which is hard to convey in a verbal giving of the multiple choice answers. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. I said C. C, C is the correct answer. Oh, they I'm not sure how I so figured that out. But. Because they gave the same answer twice, but one of them was spelled wrong. <sighs> Good hint. <laughs> Question 23. Which of the following is not a daughter of King Triton? You get the multiple choice. You can't just write any name. <laughs> 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 Easy. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> A. Atina. B. Elena. C. Arista, which is like Barista. Or D. Adrina. This is a hard quiz. It's like a really hard it quiz. It is a really hard quiz. Y'all are doing much better than Tyler would. I'm trying to think of which of these I would know. I would have known Bibbidi Bobbidi Boop and Ebony Castanets and the Princess and the Frog. You would have known Ebony Castanets? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was like uh, in that question. It asks the dragon's teeth, and uh, my um, gut response was, there's a dragon in Sleeping Beauty? Oh, like Maleficent? <laughs> I thought that was Angelina Jolie. I did not know that was a dragon. I'm pretty sure. I'll... If you watch Maleficent, <laughs> you will see her turn into a dragon. I haven't done that either, Jack. Okay. Tell anyway. Me <laughs> All right, anyway. Three, two, one. Said C. Said B. You're both incorrect. Yay. It's D. Oh, I had that first, and I was like, no. Adrena is not, but Andrina is. Question 24. Which dwarf steals extra kisses from Snow White? Three, two, one. Dopey. Doc. It's Dopey! Yes! Man, I almost put Dopey, and then I thought I remembered a moment where Doc pulls his hat off and, like, does it again. But I guess I'm wrong. Yeah, you you remember that incorrectly, maybe. Question 25. Oh, you get the answers here, too. Uh, which piece of wisdom is from Grandmother Willow? What is the deal with the Pocahontas questions? Probably the one they thought you wouldn't watch. Obviously. A, sometimes the right path is not the easiest one. B, listen to the ripples in the river. C, 
follow the river, or D, look at the spinning coin. You got it? I'm guessing accurately, hopefully. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Put D. Put A. The answer is A. Ah. Yes. I think this is an interesting piece of wisdom. Well, there's like a big scene where she's got like a nice calm current and a nice like turbulent current. Yeah, but like the whole point of a river is that like water takes the path of least resistance. Well, she gets to a fork in the river where obviously the water has made a different decision. <laughs> the water still elected not to go straight. There's some, some of that water would have saved John Smith and some of that water wouldn't is all I'm saying. Hey, fun fact about rivers. My favorite kind of lake is an oxbow lake. An oxbow lake is a is a river that meandered. Uh, you know what it meandering is? It's like when it makes a squiggly line. Yeah. yeah. And then an oxbow lake is when the river decides it doesn't need the meander and then just leaves a horseshoe shaped lake behind. Oh, fun. Oxbow lake. Very fun. Hopefully. If not, Scott cut it. That's right, Scott. Do some <laughs> river research right now. <laughs> He's like, you guys have been going forever now. What are we on question six? <laughs> yes, question seven. <laughs> uh, question 26. Oh, gosh, okay. Which princess said, I am not a prize to be won? One like W-O-N. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Yasmin. Yasmin! Yasmin! Yay! One of the other answers was Merida. That would have tripped me up. Uh, I can see her saying that. I could see that, yeah. Oh, actually, it, prize to be won. It Maybe would have like, actually been like a cool like Easter egg because in like her Scottish accent, like it would have been so mm -hmm. totally appropriate. Yeah. Oh but man, I, I wish I had done that. Well, I feel like what makes Merida different though is that she wouldn't go to the Sultan and complain. She would just go compete. I, I don't think she would have said it to someone, I think she, maybe she would have said it to like Angus, you know, like when she's like. I feel like she would have said it after she like shot all the like three in a row. Da -ba 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 -ba. That's yeah. such a cool scene. Yeah. Question 27. Oh, this is right where you get the trip at the finish line, Ben. You're one point ahead with two questions to go. Oh no. <laughs> Question 27. Where does Mulan write things she wants to remember? Where does anybody write anything they want to remember? It's a good question. Notes in their You should phone. go down that path. <sighs> I feel like you've gotten to the point in the quiz where it's just like words on the page and you're like, I, I remember all these words, but I don't know they mean <laughs> together. Yeah, right. Man, I don't know. Do you want multiple choice? Sure. Let's go. All Let's right. Do it. A, her hand. B, her forearm. C, a little piece of paper. D, her gown. Oh, man. Well, I know this exact gag, but I'm trying to yeah. remember how it goes. This is a weird way to ask the question. How does Mulan try to cheat? Right. <laughs> oh, ah, this pressure getting to you, Ben Jam. It is. It's getting to me hard. All right, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Hand. hand. Oh, thank God, you're both wrong. Oh, uh, is it forearm? It is her forearm. Man, because yeah. her hand you could see, but her forearm she like pulls. Oh, it back. you know what it is? I'm and trying to think like, like the mustache or head. whatever. Yeah, I. But I think it's like the woman comes over and like gets the ink on her hand and then she like, oh, like the woman has it on her hand. Because she yeah, grabs yeah. her wrist. She, she her grabs wrist. her that's wrist. That's what I was thinking. I was imagining, I was like, I remember ink on hand. That's it. That's yep. exactly. And then I was like, I bet it's forearm. And then I was like, You could have solidified a victory. Could have. Now, now we could still be a tie. The, there's a chance for a tie. 28, the, the final question. The grand finale. Yes. Which birthday is Rapunzel about to celebrate when <laughs> Flynn Rider arrives? Worth two points? No. Just to make it interesting. I, I feel like this is an easy one. It may be worth half a point. <laughs> Three. It's like an extra credit question. Three, two, one. 18. 18. 18. Is correct. Is correct. Oh my gosh. That was so hard. That was so hard. Oh my that goodness. Was so, I'm going to go back and watch every single Disney movie. And learn what Ebony cast are. <laughs> that apparently watched Pocahontas like a hundred times. <laughs> I know. Ah, uh, Man, that was hard. What was, that how was many points hard. did we get? I'm going to give you your percentages. Because I think this is funny. Jay, you got a 53%. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a nice 56%. fail. Yeah. And Ben Jam, you got a 57. Oh, so. Okay. Take that report card home to mom, and right next to that, it'll be like, it's a pleasure to teach. <laughs> 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 it's a pleasure to teach. He kicks the chairs up from people quite a bit. <laughs> oh, poor Justin. Uh, Fairy Islands buttocks. Mm. If there are other fandoms or quizzes you guys want to see us face off on, be sure to let us know down below. And thanks so much for watching. As always, don't forget to leave a like on the video if you haven't already, and subscribe so you don't miss any future J vs. Ben's from us. If you want to see our entire J vs. Ben playlist, you can check that out right here. Or if you want to hear more of Tyler's voice, you can check out his podcast, Bacon and Eggs, right here. But until next time, bye! bye.